Hey everybody, so this is just a quick little video for somebody that's new to the whole Shimano electronic shifting that's curious about it, want to know what it's all about, and um, basically something all of the systems will have in common are the two little junction boxes. You got the junction A and then the junction B. The B junction is typically always inside the frame, although there is a version that mounts outside. Most applications anymore seem to be like they're inside of the frame. Uh, this is the first, the Junction A, and it serves quite a few purposes. It's Some versions have a three port and some have five, which that's this particular one here. Um, these shifters that I've got laid out here are your typical arrow bar shifter, brake lever shifters, which you would see on your time trial or triathlete type bikes. And so basically I'm just, uh, you know, they have all the wires connected to them, so I'm just plugging each one in, and then there's gonna be one long wire that I've plugged in that's gonna go basically back to plug into the B junction little box there. So the A junction box, it typically mounts right underneath the handlebar stem. It's the most common, although some bikes nowadays, like the Trek Madone, for example, have the little a little port that it mounts right into the down tube where the little micro adjust button is acceptable or accessible I should say uh, so you know just plugging everything in plugging the battery in uh, having the battery come unplugged or not plugging it in all the way is probably the biggest um, I don't know mistake or issue as far as having one that inadvertently works or not works that's a pretty common error with shipping a bike or you know for travel and not getting that battery uh, little plug plug quite in all the way at the battery itself there but so I've got my the two derailers the battery and then the long wire up to the A junction so once you have these four plugged in it's all basically if you've got power in the battery you're powered up and ready to go so um, you know and this is kind of another thing you know as far as any new component group or one that's questionable somebody brought in a bunch of random parts so if you'd like to just bench test it first before I start routing all the wires and everything uh, but yeah that's basically you know you have your left side controls the front derailleur right side controls the uh, rear derailleur and so you know, just two buttons up or down and so this is your micro adjust a little button in there in the center of the A junction and at this point it's you know you just take your the right hand shifter and just up or down is you just have little micro adjustments there it's just like turning the barrel adjuster on a mechanical derailleur so you know, once you have it set where you want you push the button again and the little light will go off that button is not a battery it's not to check your battery which I've had that um, misconception before it's strictly just to micro adjust your derailleur so this is the standard road shifters got three ports usually you only use one unless you're using sprinter shifters or a bar top external shifter but that's the typical just you know drop bar shifters and so basically you know going straight back to the A junction I do you see the little side port that's where you would charge the battery um, so you got your two little LED lights there. One is for micro adjusting, and the other is to check the battery, the light that you have in the current state of your battery. So if you hold any of the buttons down, that little light will light up. And you got four. If it's a solid green, you've got 75 to 100 percent power. If it's flashing green, you've got 50 to 75 percent steady red, which is what we had. That's 25 to 50 percent and if it's flashing red you've got less than 25 percent power so um, typically these last a very long time under a charge um, typically several months so you know just something to keep an eye on it's not a huge deal to charge it you know so you don't ever run out of juice um, but uh, yeah that's basically the the gist of it and um, you know the little tool there it you know typically the will come with a little tool and that's really handy as far as especially unplugging the wires it's these it's a pretty firm little pop in there so it's you know you don't want to damage the wire and pull it out of the little plug by 
yanking on the wire, but it has a, one end is for pulling the wires and the other end is for uh, um, pushing them in. And as far as routing the wires into the frame, this is just a little tool I came up with, made a video a couple, two or three years ago, and uh, I'll just share a little link to it. This is just a little slideshow, the little tool, and it makes it super easy to route the wires in the frame. You know, it's definitely easier than routing mechanical wires in an aero type frame, but uh, yeah, that's the basic. Um, hopefully, this video was helpful for anybody just. Uh, new to DI2 and interested in checking it out so yeah thanks for watching